Ah! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing for you all. So first of all, I wanted to address, um, I self-tanned recently and it didn't go well. Um, my hands are white, my face is white, but this is like this orangey color. It's, it really was bad. So I apologize if that doesn't match my face, but I would like if you guys would just excuse that. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Birch Box. So basically I got this for Christmas from my sister which I really appreciate if you're watching Katie. Thank you. But um I wanted to uh, first start out and say um, this is my first ever subscription service. Um, but when it came to my house this was fully ripped open and the box was swelling out and the box looked like this. Um, the products were spilling out of the box, so did that happen to anyone else? I'm not totally sure why I kind of I tweeted Birchbox about it. Like my box is just like destroyed, like not destroyed, but it's just in some terrible condition. And I was gonna, I tweeted them, but they didn't really write back, and they kind of just ignored me. So um, thanks Birchbox for that. So um, I have used a, I, I don't know, I think I said that I haven't used a subscription service, but technically I was sent the um the box of vegan products a while ago and I unboxed that and I can leave that in the description if you want to see that but um, I'm doing this is the birch box for December I'm almost positive um again so yeah this what is this I was gonna use this box to like put some products in or something what the heck okay so then there's a little card which I never look at and um, something about a choose a sample or loyalty po point snack free treat set up your birch box account to unlock all these and more. I don't know. Alright, so there's the tissue paper, which is blue. Open it up and you just get this. This is what it looks like. So, let's start. There's this little pouch thingy. Oh my goodness, look, it's like my whole box is destroyed. Like the tissue paper is ripped apart. Guys. Inside the little pouch thingy were two things. There was the Staniac Hint of Tint for Cheeks and Lips by The Balm. Okay, well, I've used some of The Balm's products before. Um, I don't use stains too much. I used Benetint when I first started wearing makeup. I was, like, obsessed with it. But this looks like a gel. I don't know. That's kind of cool. Um, it's this little sample. So it details for... Full size is $17. It's a best-selling stain that gives cheeks and lips a sheer rosy tint. Dot onto cheeks and blend quickly. Sweep over lips to give them a wash of color. All right, cool. Then we have this Sumita Beauty Japer Gold Contrast Eye Pencil. I'm sure I probably just said all of those words wrong. But, um, yeah, this says Color Contrasting Eyeliner. It's a full size is $11 to $21. 11 to 21 what would decipher that I don't know this soft wax pencil delivers rich long-lasting color that won't irritate eyes glide along lash line color block two shades for a modern look or a blend for a custom hue um, I really don't use um, colored eyeliners aside from black and stem all right the formula is decent and it's kind of it looks more brownie than gold it looks kind of like an olivey color it doesn't really look gold but I, I could use this. I'll try it. I'll probably maybe put it down here. I can use it as like an accent on a wing or something. Um, so Sumita, Sumati, I don't know. All right, next we're going for this. The Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. Exfoliating Cleanser. Let's see. It has papaya in it. Ooh, girl. It's paraben-free, sulfate-free, 99% natural. Girl, what's in this that's so 1% that's not? I don't smell anything. I don't know if it's just because it smells like soap. It doesn't smell like papaya. It just smells like soap. I don't know. Um, it's basically just feels like an exfoliator. It doesn't feel like um anything too serious. It just feels kind of grainy. Obviously, like an exfoliator. Um, so yeah, the Vasanti Brighten Up. This is 
A full size is 34. It is this is a customer fave mimics effects of micro dermabrasion for glowing smooth complexion three to five times a week. Massage a pea sized amount into damp skin and rinse. If you don't know what micro dermabrasion is, is basically if you deal with um, acne scarring or dark spots or um, just any overall appearance of the skin aside from acne. Microdermabrasion doesn't usually help acne, but scarring, things of that nature, um, there's like different kinds of techniques you can use basically just kind of to lighten the scars, to get away with the scars. It kind of just like sh like thins out your skin a little bit to make it better. But um, this is just an exfoliator. I wouldn't say it's kind of like microdermabrasion. Like um, if you've ever seen the PMD, um, I've never used it, never tried it because I don't, I didn't scar from my acne. Um, but if you've seen that, that's microdermabrasion. All right, we have two more things. This is Wish Shave Cream, a Kai grapefruit. We're feeling the bohemian scents. We got well bohemian themes. That had guava in it. This oh, there's okay. I can smell it. It smells pretty good. Um, I sometimes actually I'll, I'll definitely like to try this because sometimes I don't use um shave cream I just use conditioner because in case you didn't know ladies you can use it on your legs or wherever you shave and it um, cuts down cost by a lot you can buy a whole thing of uh, conditioner for like three bucks okay so wish shave cream a shea butter packed shaving cream in a fresh scent exclusive to birch box apply to legs armpits or bikini line before you shave okay cool cool I will try this see how it works it's got omega threes in it green tea jojoba oil nice nice all right last thing is the Catherine Malandrino you do perfume oh this is taped shut all right ah oops okay so it's a little spray which I like better than rollerballs I don't know I just never use rollerballs okay it's it's testing time you guys Okay, this smells exactly like something my sister has worn before. My sister's never worn this, but it smells very similar to something she's worn. I want to say it's like something Jessica Simpson has. I'm not totally sure, but it, it, it doesn't smell bad. I will give that that, but um, I don't know. It smells, it doesn't smell bad. I just, it's not something I would particularly wear, but I'll use it, I'll throw it in my purse. So that way if I need something, you know, like we're, we're in a hurry. So this is the Catherine Malandrino Style de Paris. A full size is $110. So <laughs> we're just going to be sticking with the little travel size here. But this is the designer's first ever scent. It mingles detectable fruits and florals for an elegant vibe. See, I never understand that when people are like, this has elegant wisps of sandalwood. Like, I can't smell any of that. All I think is like, oh, this smells good or this smells bad. Um, spritz on in the morning and again before meeting friends for cocktails. Well, that was something. The, I could see how this box could be a hit or miss. I know a lot of people have canceled this in recent history because of how hit or miss this subscription can be. And I completely understand that because with the amount of products you get and the just... You may not like them is the thing, and so I can understand how people would say that. Um, so yeah, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five. So you get five products in one of these. All in all, I would say it's it would be um, okay for you to try this out if you're looking for a product service that's going to send you just some miscellaneous things. Um, so yeah, that's the whole Birchbox unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'm gonna s I was gonna use this box. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you back here later.